Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Andy's Toolbox. In this episode, we're going to do a pretty decent sized Christmas tool haul. Um, I wasn't anticipating another haul before January, but I went ahead and bought a few tools throughout the month of December, and here's what I have for you and have collected. So, on my box here is a few good finds that I've come across throughout the month, including eBay, a kctools.com web order, um, and Harbor Freight, as well as uh, <clears throat> a, a a tip that I'm going to give you uh, about the tool the some of the pliers that I got so starting off here on the left I picked up these Blackhawk by Proto uh, mini electrician pliers and these are made in Taiwan but I was actually pleasantly surprised with the quality that you get the handles aren't uh are textured grippy kind of like uh uh nws or nipex or snap-on they're not just the uh the smooth rubber that you get from like channel lock it has a nice uh laser etched Blackhawk on them. The only thing that I didn't like about these pliers is that the uh, bent needle nose, they don't have grooves uh, or teeth in them, which is fine because I have diamond files and I usually just cut a few little notches for gripping and as well as the duck bills didn't have any, but that's easily remedied. I got these uh, for the most part for these uh, cutters snap-on wants like $80 for their long reach mini cutters and I'm just not that's a branch too far uh, to be uh, walking on in my opinion especially when you're getting this sort of quality I think I paid 35 or 40 dollars on eBay for these um, next we have my KC tool order which is these three pliers right here and uh, that consists of these uh, snips which are NWS my favorite plier company uh, and these which I've been waiting to uh, uh, for for them to stock on nobody's had these and I've had my eye on these for a long time uh, and uh, and these right here uh, the twin grip I'm sure everybody's seen those already a million times uh, what's interesting though about this these is that from Harbor Freight they have the medium size and the short handle these are the NWS. These are the small size and the short handle. And then you got the big size. I got these from Harbor Freight a long time ago. And I put some hose on the handles and took that crappy grip that they give you off so you can actually use them. And which is the only size you really need to be long uh, to have. I find these short ones a whole lot uh, more convenient uh, for what I do, uh, like I've said before, I mainly am a welder and do light fabrication, auto body. So um, I don't do a whole lot of mechanic work. So hey, if if you guys use those uh, extra long ones in the uh, medium and small size a lot, go ahead and drop that in the comments and uh, tell me why you prefer them. But I certainly prefer 
and I thought this was a great trick because uh, in my personal opinion this gets you more places just this combination right here than uh, than the standard long set will ever get you uh, these are real nice they have the serrated teeth on one side straight on the other uh, they cut plat you cut a sheet of plastic with them they cut really well so that's pretty much the test for me if they can cut a, a sheet of plastic then they're good enough you've seen these a million times I'm sure just had to get myself a pair um, and then I, uh, I've, I've been wanting a pair of black welding gloves uh, I, I watched one youtuber I can't remember what his name was but uh, he had a nice pair of black gloves on and I just thought it looked classy typically I use these uh, hardies uh, they always burn through on this finger though especially if I'm not wearing a TIG uh, finger I found these uh, Milwaukee's and these ones hold up pretty good and the price is good but like I said I saw that youtuber and I just had to uh, get a very fancy pair of black welding gloves so I got these Vulcans from Harbor Freight and uh, they cost about $30 and uh, they're made in Pakistan not China so if you guys were on the fence about getting these gloves because you thought they were made in China eh, wrong try again so uh, uh, I was just using that to hold this box down to make it look good for the intro or the uh, thumbnail so um, okay here's where things got you know out of hand so <clears throat> uh, first I wanted the metric set of these these are all SAE oh, and I couldn't really find them anywhere for a good price so I was like you know what I only use SAE hardware when I'm replacing, uh, you know, um, accessories on cars and stuff. You know, I, I kind of opt for SAE hardware because, you know, it's cheap, more available, etc. So I saw these on eBay and uh, they were reasonably priced. <clears throat> And uh, I, I snagged them and uh, I was doing a little research and I'm like, oh, you know, these are in, uh, they don't have the uh, hollow shafts, right? Okay. So I saw these on eBay at, right after that. And these actually are advertised as a hollow shaft in the part number. I don't know if you can see it on here. Not on that one, be on this one. Okay, on that part number, you see the H? Even in the part number, it specifies hollow. See, these ones don't. So, so I bought these, yeah. They're missing one though, right? So I was like, oh, well, I guess I can just take one out of this. Uh, maybe keep this case, put these in there, and uh, sell the rest off because I got a few other tools that I want to get rid of on eBay and uh, and uh, I thought that if I can package them together that it would sell them instead of them just sitting on eBay and me not getting the price I want so these got here and uh, come to find out that even though these don't specify hollow they're hollow so I don't know what happened in Proto's, uh, you know, mechanics and whatnot, but sure confuses me. So, and the part number on these, as you can see, they're not, they're not specified as hollow, but I've tested these out and, uh, sure enough, a, uh, the shaft of a, uh, of a bolt on the size of nut that you're using this on the will go into this uh handle so they're perfectly functional as a hollow nut driver so that's where things kind of 
uh, got out of hand. So, uh, I've been I've been testing a few of these out, and uh, a few of them are are the machining on them is so poorly done that they actually will work on an eight nine millimeter. A uh, few of these uh, smaller sizes, I forget which ones. And I'm sure that some of these smaller ones will fit on even smaller metrics. So I'm glad that I picked all of these up. This set, however, does include the one half, which is good for 13 mil and the seven sixteenths, which is good for 11. So I think I scored here because I think I got uh, everything knocked out here with just this poorly machined set of, that will work, you know, probably on both SAE and metric, which, which happens. If you use uh, old American tools enough, you'll, Come to find out that a lot of them work better on metric than they do on uh, SAE stuff. So, uh, just a little bit of, of wisdom sharing with you, with y'all out there and YouTube land. But uh, I've been uh, being bad with uh, with uh, intermingling for a long time, and I refuse to change. <laughs> so, uh, all right, guys, like, comment subscribe uh hit that bell notification and get notified when i release new content and uh stay tuned for the next tool haul which should be coming up uh maybe january february uh stay tuned see y'all later